Hey, it's Prometheus giving you another recap uh, gameplay. I'm going to be rolling with the Raiders on offense and defense, and I'm going to be using the San Diego Chargers as my primary regs team. Got matched up against somebody who was playing the Miami Dolphins, and that's usually a rare thing. You see a lot of the same teams over and over again. But this guy actually had really um, aggressive defensive uh, mentality and also had uh, a very aggressive or uh, basically kind of a cheesy the offense. Now, I'm going to show you. The guy actually ran his primary defense was an engage eight. And uh, what he would do is he'd mix in a heavy man blitz off, like on a second down off the engage eight um, and then basically uh, jump between those. He didn't use a lot of coverage. He was just coming after me with every single play, but he would switch up his uh, his coverages with between the engage gate and, and, and a standard blitz. So uh, third and 22 off of the kickoff and, and kind of in a bind right here. I hit the post route. You can see the pressure was right in my face. The receiver does not come down with the ball. And I'm forced to punt. No reason to give this guy some easy yardage. Want to make sure I see his offense a little bit. So I'm going to come out in an aggressive blitz too. I, I didn't get all all the ball. The kickoff is actually I mean, he's already in field goal range, and I actually get, do a heavy blitz myself, and I get. A hell of an animation strip set, a strip right there, and this actually is going to be the key to the game. Actually, it's it's funny that you actually have an opportunity like this in the very beginning of the game, where you can actually go ahead. It can it can mean huge dividends later on. So I go ahead and uh, drop it down to a flat route right there, out of the Salem play. And uh, once again, he's coming back with the heavy blitz. I think that was engage eight once again. So now I go ahead and jump it. No, it was actually a man blitz right there. So now I jump into uh, the out and up uh, play right here. And uh, he didn't send the dogs. He actually sent guys up. I think he manned his players up. But right there, I'm able to go and drop it down to uh, the 30 right there with a crossing route. So I go into uh, a little dig play right here. I think this is um, uh, jet play. And I'm looking for the deep comeback route, uh, but check down for the for the over the middle uh, dig route. So I've got uh, basically a run uh, queued up against this guy, um, and he's he's showing me a bunch of guys in a box. It looks like he's going to blitz me again, and I go ahead and gets he actually manually sacks me. So I've already given up a couple sacks against the game. The pressure's coming hot. Um, I notice that he's pressing his guys, so I go ahead and just do a little streak right there. He comes in in a manual blitz. I'm able to go and get the ball off and actually go ahead and take it and go up by a score. Now, that's one of the reasons why you want to play with a very elite quarterback in regs because uh, they'll make plays like that. They'll get the great balls off uh, with that. Now this is guy's offense. His offense was very, very focused on what he was doing and he ran no huddle. So right here I'm actually in a 44 split. Should be very stout against the run because I've got four linebackers, four linemen. But this guy was just chewing my defense up with the run. And when I look back at the game replay, what this guy did is basically go ahead and in his tight end positions and, and his wide receiver positions, he sub in better blockers. So tight ends, he sub in uh, basically linemen. And his and his uh, basically his wide receiver position, he would sub in uh, basically tight ends, so they would they would get a good push off the ball. So right here, I'm in um, a saw blitz type situation right now, and I actually go ahead and just make an adjustment. I got a hard flat out there. Comes back to the run right there, and look at the push he's getting with his offensive line. He's able to go and ch get a little chunk of change right here. Back once again, I go ahead and put my guys in hard flats. I've got a blitz going down there, and I've got uh, basically guys in um, a deep quarters, so they. They should be coming down and playing the run and uh, stack the line once again. I've got heavy blitzing. I'm going with six people in the blocks right there. I had to set up the blitz. He goes ahead and runs right into me. No huddles again. And now he's got he's got those uh, linemen at a tackle positions. He's got uh, his other tight, tight end off the back end side. He does a little motion and he actually pitches the ball off to the left. I actually shift my guys off to the left, but he gets a good block and a seal block with that offensive lineman and gets the ball right down to the four-yard line. So I'm really struggling to stop this guy's run, and he's basically setting it up where... He's not showing me what he's showing his offense. He's he's just he's no huddling, no huddling, no huddling, and just keeps going back into this offense where he's just running the ball. So it was a very annoying offense to run, and it's very cheesy offense to say. I, I don't know if you've ever run into somebody like this. This is something that you would find in salary cap or maybe in draft champions. More likely salary cap because people know that you have to you have to sacrifice certain cap positions. So I would see type of an offense like this. So fourth and goal, he no huddles. Um, he doesn't reset his play. He tries to go and pound the ball in. 
I'm making massive adjustments. My guy comes in and cleans up as he spins across it, and so I get the ball right back again. So I got an opportunity to go up four. So I block. I feel like he's sending the house. And right here, I do a little quick little out route, ensure this is wide open. Uh, but I don't get the animation to go and turn it up uh, right there. So once again, a little quick out route again. I feel like he's going to go ahead and either do a man blitz or whatever. So I go ahead and check it down. Get uh, a first down right there. minute and 57 seconds left. Ball's on the outside. I'm feeling like this is a kind of situation where he's going to go ahead and, and, and come down on me. So right here, I, I take a shot up top. And I've got the out and up. But look at the animation he gets with his defensive back. He's able to go and pick the ball off. And he stays on his feet right there. He gets the ball down to the 40. So a minute and 47 seconds left. Now he goes into his other offense um, out of the um, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the bunch set right there. He would basically jump in between screens and a money play uh, right here. So I think this is a play he's going to do. He blocks seven. He streaks. He actually he, he drags up stills, and then he takes uh, Amadala and I think um, his his other wide receiver Wilson and puts him a, a, on a, a, a <clears throat> slant route. So basically, so you got the block seven right there. I got to play the middle of the field, and actually that slant route is wide open because that that uh, that drag route cleared it right out. So right here I go into cover three. He jumps into a screen play and actually pops that. Gets really good animation with his running back once again. He actually he, he jukes me. Goes ahead and huddles again. And then he comes back to the pass right here. I've got basically a cover two blitz set up, because he, but he's blocking seven. The reason he's blocking seven, that's picking up the blitz. And right here goes a little crosser, and then he actually drops it down once again. Uh, to the guy on a slant route. <clears throat> 30 seconds left right here. I go ahead and put a, a, a curl flat. He actually goes right back to the screen again. This is such a simple offense, but because he was no huddling me, um, I didn't really have any kind of way to prepare for it, and he actually goes ahead and gets a touchdown off of it. So real cheesy offense, but very effective. Second quarter right here, I go back to the 4-4 split. I go in a man blitz right here, <clears throat> try to get the corner sealed right there, and he gets <clears throat> a nice little block seal. He almost went house with that. Of course, no huddles again because that's his entire offense. I go into cover two, spread my guys out. He actually gets a nice little uh, tackle. He, he falls forward uh, because of the way they changed the patch on the game. Now I go ahead and I think I put hard flats on the corner to go ahead and get the guys to bite down. I finally get this guy stuff right here. He goes into a different offense right now. He goes into huddle. He switches things back up. Now he goes with a heavy set where he's got uh, defensive or actually guys out there. So I get a nice little sh uh, a shed off of my, off of his guy right there. And he goes into an offense. 39 right here. This is an offense he probably should have came back to again. I was screwing around with my defense. I didn't really have a defensive scheme. I was looking for some block sheds. Uh, almost got them off the edge, but right there. But it actually goes ahead and hits a guy right over the middle uh, with a wide set. That's one offensive set he should have stayed with because I struggle with that. So I go in a wide, wide set right here just to go and change things up a little bit. And I'm conscious of the pass, but this guy would not get out of the pass. He was he was committed to the run with his formation. And when you watch these games after you've actually played them, you're thinking, oh my god, uh, he was giving me these tells. I should have never done that. So nice little run. Uh, once again, picks up another first down. I'm still doing this wide defense right here with the hope that he's going to run uh, off into my guys. I got these guys all spread out. And he goes ahead, goes off the edge right here, and he gets a, a pretty good damn animation, falls forward down to get it to the three yard line. Second and one, no huddles again. <clears throat> I've got basically hard flats to the outside. I've actually got my corners in hard flats uh, so they can actually play some run fits. Squinch up my line and he gets uh, runs right into one of my defenders, actually falls down to the two yard line. I, I think he, in this situation comes out of the huddle and actually goes ahead um, and he's got the same. So you can see you can see the, the, the lineman right there. He falls down to the one yard line. And uh, 30 seconds, just chews up the clock against me. I, I've got all my guys just stacked up in the line. I've got hard flats out there. Try to take away something like there, and he actually just hits the edge and gets the ball in. So down, set, uh, 14 to 7, I'm going to scrap my offense. I had an offensive scheme I was going to be showcasing 
in this game, but because of the way he was playing this majorly aggressive defense, I had to go ahead and change my offense completely and, and get away from the offense that I planned to run in the game. And I'm very stubborn. You guys see, you probably see me not making adjustments. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to showcase a particular formation or particular, or basically showcase a particular offensive scheme that I've been spending time to create. But these guys, sometimes you get these guys that actually play their defense that just completely takes out of your offense. So I jumped into the doubles formation based on this guy doing a lot of heavy pressure. He falls back into zones. I actually got the, the post right on the back inside. Williams comes down with it, breaks the tackle, but actually falls down to the 25-yard line. So uh, four, if, uh, uh, four minutes and 20 seconds left. I think I jump back into this play, which is like a, a, a bubble screen. I'm looking at the bubble screen off the off the edge, and you can see the tight end actually got a free release off the line. I get the ball down to the six-yard line right here. So I'm trying to chew a little clock right here. I've got a little uh, trap play off to the right, but the guy he actually users actually gets a break off of the, uh, off the center and actually comes diving in. I know Huddle jump into a play, which I'm gonna, I know that deep in route on the back inside is going to be open because i got two crossers underneath it, and I go ahead and tie up the game at 14-14. So now I jump into a different defense. This is a defense I've ran a lot. It's basically my safety blitz. I go ahead and yellow zone up my safeties right here. They come down and actually play uh, play the seal. I'm spreading out my defensive line to go ahead and stop this guy because he likes running to the outside. I've got my linebackers to the outside. And I'm manning up uh, my the, the, the defenders off the edge, and they shoot the gap a little bit. So third and uh, <clears throat> basically a third and 12 type of situation. Now I man up my defenders right here. And um, <clears throat> he's going to block seven and go with that uh, drag, slant, and then uh, post route. And right here, the pressure comes off the edge. I'm able to go, get a guy against him and get him in a fourth in 12 situation. And what I do is I go ahead and go a real aggressive blitz. This is uh, like a safety blitz out of the um, 43 uh, over uh, strong type formation. And I'm just going to go ahead and hover over the middle. And right here, the pressure comes off the edge. He's got to wait for those routes to develop. And right there, I sack him, and that's it. He just goes ahead, and I think, uh, all right, so here, <clears throat> basically in this type of situation, i got to get a, a, a first down or a field goal. So what I do is I go ahead and just do a little running play right there. I want to go and burn his timeout. He burns the timeout right there. Go into stick with the anticipation he's probably going to do either some type of a man blitz. He takes away the post off the back end side, but Henry, fortunately for me, stays in bounds. So I burn it down to a two-minute warning. So... I feel like he's going to come after me. I think he's going to go either with that, that uh, engage eight or he's going to be going with uh, uh, some kind of a man blitz. So what I do on the back side, I take Allen, I put him on a deep end, and I'm looking to the post off the right-hand side, but he actually takes his user out of that. So I go back to the back-end side with the end round, and I'm able to go and capitalize, get a first down, and that's it for him. So he can't. He checks out. So once again, to my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. This is the gameplay with the Raiders playbook, and until next time.